Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today's topic is about ideas to promote collaboration in the mathematics classroom. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. So today I'm going to be talking about some different ideas of how we can promote collaboration in the mathematics classroom. And this is based on the late great work of Malcolm Swan. Malcolm Swan was a education professor in mathematics and he's conducted a prolific amount of research and released a number of resources in the past and his legacy still lives on in his tasks. And so his work is probably most famous for collaborative learning tasks and he outlines five different types of collaborative learning tasks. So the first type of learning task is classifying mathematical objects where students are given, uh, say, a variety of different examples, and they have to classify those examples into their own categories. So as an example, maybe there are a, a whole lot of different 2D shapes, whether they're quadrilaterals, and we look at all the different types of quadrilaterals, or we look at pentagons or different 2D shapes, and we ask students to start classifying them into groups and categories that they see in terms of the common attributes of those different shapes. Now, the next type of collaborative learning uh, task from my, Malcolm Swan is looking at interpreting different multiple representations. And he has a lot of templates and resources. They're kind of like matching cards where you might have the algebraic form, you may have the tabular form in a table, and then you may have the graphical form. And students will have all of these different cards with multiple representations, and they have to match, say, a particular function to the three different representations of that function. And so I think that's really supports a lot of collaborative rich discussions about different features of functions. And it also leads to a deep understanding, I think, of the multiple representations of different mathematical conceptual ideas. The next type of collaborative learning task is evaluating different mathematical statements. So as an example, I could say, Jim got a 15% pay rise, Jane got a 10% pay rise. So was Jim's pay rise greater than Jane's? And asking students, to engage in a discussion about whose pay rise was better and giving reasoning and justifications for why. Another way that we can promote collaborative learning in the mathematics classroom is to actually ask groups of students to come up with their own problems. So generate a problem based on the mathematical ideas that you've covered and then applying that understanding to another context, another situation that they have created themselves. And then the last um, idea that Malcolm Swam outlines for collaborative learning experiences is when we ask students to analyze and reason different solutions and ask them to compare the different methods and alternative pathways. Research suggests that when students have different pathways and different ways of solving a problem, they normally have a much better understanding of the mathematical concept. So there are the five different ideas that Malcolm Swam outlined. So they were classifying, giving students classification, uh, learning experiences, giving them multiple representations of a mathematical conceptual idea, uh, giving them different statements for students to discuss and evaluate, asking students to be able to create their own problems so that they're applying and transferring their understanding to a different context. And then last but not least, asking students to analyze and reason different methodologies, different pathways to a solution, and then comparing them. So I hope you found them useful. I still dip in and out of Malcolm Swan's work, um, which was mainly conducted, I think, in the 70s and the 80s. But um, I'll put a link uh, in the comment section below on some resources that he has left. And um, thank you, Malcolm Swan, for everything that you've contributed to the maths education world. And also thank you for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.